Today, we're going to look at the easiest way to manage your ServerStack client integrations using the JetBrains Rider IDE. Up until recently, managing your ServerStack client integrations for .NET languages without Visual Studio meant you needed to use the .NET X tool from a terminal. And this can still be done for those that prefer using the command line tools, but now you can have the same plugin support as other JetBrains IDEs while using C Sharp, F Sharp, VBNet or TypeScript right from the Solution Explorer in Rider. Installing the plugin can be done from the settings menu under plugins and searching for service stack in the marketplace. Once installed, restart your IDE and you can now right click on any of your projects and use add service stack reference. This will prompt you with a dialogue requiring the host address of your service stack server you're integrating with as well as a file name. Click OK and the plugin will automatically add any NuGet dependencies you might need along with the generated file of the data transform objects or DTO classes straight into your project. The language will be detected from the project you are adding your generated file to and you can use the JSON service client as normal. Using the TechStacks demo application as an example, we've generated our DTOs using the add service stack reference dialog and we can query the TechStacks by name. The response is strongly typed thanks to the request DTO using the iReturn interface that specifies the response type for our JSON service client. Using the response, we get autocomplete from the results property since the type is known at compile time. Dumping these results to the console, I can see our search has returned the expected structured data. If you are developing the services as well as the client, you can easily update your generated DTOs as your service changes using the action menu or by right clicking on the DTO file and going to tools, update service stack reference. If your client needs to use different generation options, you can use the commented out section at the top of the file. To change generation options, remove the two forward slashes from the option you want to override and populate the value you want after the colon. For an example, let's change the global namespace option to my own namespace and update the file. The plugin will use the details in the options section of the generated file to structure a request to the specified service stack host listed under the base URL option. The response from the server will be the updated DTOs which then replace the existing file. The message based design of service stacks request and response DTOs means the experience of integrating your client with your server follows the same patterns and with the addition of Rider to our supported IDEs, more developers will have the same rapid iterations regardless of their preferred tooling. That's it for this video, I hope you find this new Rider plugin useful and thanks for watching.